In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. If you are old yet, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. Without any further ado, let's get started. Now go to your file menu, select new or control plus N, then go to print. And we are going to make use of A5 paper size, then change it to inches. And over here, you click on grades. Make sure that you leave your resolution at 300. And then here, RGB color mode for social media flyer. If you are going to print it, make sure that you change it to CMYK color. For this tutorial, we are going to use RGB color. Then you click on grades. And here now, this is where we are going to take our design. So the first thing now, I'm going to, to my resource file. And over here, I'm going to import this background here. Then scale it down. Then go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm over here, we are going to blow it by 29.1% and change the blending mode to overlay. Now we are going to delete this one. Then after this one, then the next thing then go back to your resource file and we are going to import this one over here then take it up scale it out then go to your filter select blow gaussian blow and here make it 18.2 percent something like this now the next one then we are going to bring in our other materials so which is the test so these are the color i'm going to use for some certain um tests and others and over here i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool over here or you press t using the keyboard and i'm going to change the font color to white now click here and paste it ctrl plus v to paste and the font i'm using here is open sans then click ok so apply it now we are going to increase the font size a little this way then bring it to the position and we are going to reduce the space nine percent should be okay then the character spacing remove it to zero percent and click ok to apply it so having done this one and the next one we are going to import the church logo to so drag it over here to import it then reduce the size and drag it up around here then we are going to draw a rectangle line So then I'm going to arrange it something like this. Then I'm going to adjust the line. So like this, then bring this one over here and now then 
hold your shift key while you select it Control plus G to group it or you click over here to group it. Then go to select, select all. Now apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then go to select and deselect. Control plus A and Control plus D. So these are the control key to use. Right, so having concluded on this one. So the next thing we are going to copy this one control plus c to copy in then select your text to using the t on the keyboard and we are going to paste this one control plus v to paste now we are going to select this color over here control plus c to copy now we are going to paste it control plus v to paste and we are going to increase the size a little then while we are going to position it at the center here and apply a character spacing like this it's okay then select ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it ctrl plus d to deselect something like this okay so the next one then go back to your test and we are going to copy this one then ctrl plus c to copy you can also right click then and copy it over here then and this is the test effect you are going to use Then i'm going to click here to bring it out double click on the smart object where you see edit and now select your test tool then highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to adjust it then now select the test tool and over here we are going to break this one then take your mouse arrange it open the character i mean the space then select your test tool and this one we are going to break it now what we are going to do now we are going to reduce the test so this is how i did it so in order to make you understand then continue creating more space so then this space like this is okay and this is okay so now how i did it now then i'm going to select my test tool once again and this one i'm going to align this one then increase the font size like this then you click ok so you can see that the test over here is bigger than the rest now then click here and save it over here we have our fonts already designed then by the use of the mockup so then the last thing we are going to do now then go to your file then select export and export it over here so since i have already exported it so i'm not going to export it again if you remember in our previous tutorial then we also did exactly something like this so you can if you don't understand then you can go back to that video then and watch it so that you will understand how to export this all right so we are going back to our tutorial over here then and here is is it i'm going to import it 
and place it over here then you can increase the size something like this and this one bring it over here also you can increase the size so having great this one now the next we are going to do is to bring the team now we are going to select the rent angle tool and we are going to create a rent angle like this and copy this color code then double click here to open it and ctrl plus v to paste now drag this one over here to duplicate it then apply white color to this then use your arrow key then to bring this one down this way left and right and we are going to create something like this so having this one now so the next i'm going to copy this color over here now double click here ctrl plus v to apply the color now then go to your test document and we are going to copy this one and select your test tool like i say t and use your using your keyboard then ctrl plus v to paste and now i'm going to change the font and the font we use here is hosteling then in order to make it more fast then this is the font then ctrl plus c to copy then come over here ctrl plus v to paste that is very easy way then to get the font then having done this one so then i'm going to select the first letter then change it to capital letter now change the font to white and reduce the font size then we are going to apply a drop shadow to it then go to your fx select bloody mode then go to go to drop shadow then and apply this setting over here so your opacity should be 81 then distance 5 then the spread 5 and the size 10 then something like this then you click ok to apply it and the next then we are going to copy this one over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to using the t on your keyboard and ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to change the font then come over here and copy this font then go to your font then ctrl plus v to paste so you can see them over here and select anyone you wanted to use now we are going to reduce the font size then select your test tool and apply left alignment then you drag it over here then come over to the space to open the space and the character spacing then zero percent reduce the fonts a little bit 
now we are going to hold our shift key while we select all of them together now we can increase the size like this it's okay then the next we are going to do we are going to import the image over here and reduce the size something like this is okay then go to image then select adjustment brightness and contrast we are going to apply a little more brightness to the image and the constraints then something like this then it's okay then we can also go to our filter select metronomic rotation 3 So then by doing this, then we smooth the image. All right. So something like this. Now, the next we are going to do, then we are going to create a shape. And we are going to select our ellipse tool while we draw a cycle like this something like this then rotate it this way So we have a shape like this now then and the other thing I'm going to do I'm going back to this team I'm going to select it why I'm going to reduce the size something like this okay then select your ellipse tool again and hold your shift key while you draw to create a perfect cycle Then I'm going to duplicate this one by dragging it down. Then the first one, I'm going to apply this color, copy this color code, right click, then select copy, then double click here to apply Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to select this one and bring it down this way so this is what you will get All right then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and i'm going to move this one over here All right then i'm going to apply the same thing to this one duplicate it or drag it over here to duplicate then the top one i'm going to use my arrow key then to bring it down this one over here i'm going to apply the same color to it then this is what you will have now i'm going to select this image i mean the cycle here then go to your resource file and I'm going to import this image, then reduce the size, then right click and create a clipping mask, then adjust it. Then come over here and import this image reduce the size then right click and create a clipping mask so we have something like this now 
and the next we are going to input the name so over here we are going to copy this one control plus c to copy in. select your test to control plus v to paste change the font to black then we are going to reduce the font size then select the test tool I'm going to remove one letter from here then control plus J to duplicate then drag this one over here then go to your test to copy this one then select your test tool using the, the T letter on your keyboard then control plus V to paste So now we have created that one. The next one we are going to do, then we are going to copy this one over here. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test. Then come over here. Control plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size and the space reduce the space reduce the font size yes okay then go back to your test and we are going to change the font to white right then i'm going to highlight the first letter over here and we are going to make this one bold and apply this color over here then this is the outcome of it having done that one we are going to draw a rent angle Yeah, like this and we are going to apply this color then we are going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then change the fonts to black and we are going to reduce the font size Ctrl plus C to copy select your test to letter T Ctrl plus V to paste Then change the font to to open sans. Then then make it bold. something like this then increase the size of this one I'm going to increase this one by holding your shift key then duplicate this one Now go back to your test documents, then copy this one. Select your test to highlight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste.
then hold your shift key while you select it then we are going to reduce the size Then make this test bold, select extra bold. Now on this tool, then hold your shift key while you select this one Then go back to your test and we are going to copy this color code over here. Then select your test. Now we are going to paste this color over here then right click and paste then click ok to apply it then now we are going to create the time then copy this one now select to test to ctrl plus v to paste Then I'll position it over here. Drag it over here to duplicate it. Then highlight this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to change the font of this one to black. And we are going to reduce the font size. This way is okay. And the character spacing, we are going to reduce it a little. Use your arrow key to adjust it. Then we are going to increase the font of this one something like this right so the next we are going to do go back to your test document and we are going to bring an icon so from our previous then we are going to import this one Then reduce it and place it. So place it around here. Then go back again. And here we are going to bring this one. Reduce the size. And I'm going to select this one over here. Hold your shift key. Then while you select this one, then use your arrow key then to bring it closer. Now we are going to reduce the size of this one. Then select your test. Use your arrow key then to move it around. So the last one, then we are going to bring this icon for location. Then reduce the size. Then go back to your test document. Copy the location. Select your test tool. You can see the test tool over here. Now change the font to black. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change it from extra bold to semi bold. Then reduce the font size. Then select your test tool. 
then apply center alignment something like this now hold your shift key while you select the two then click here to group it go to select apply all then select vertical alignment then go back to select and deselect now we are going to increase the size So, as you can see, then we have come up with something. And the other one we are going to do, then go back to your resource file. And this light, I'm going to position it around here. Then create a screen to bring the effect this way. Okay now then go back to your background then i'm going to import this background over here then take it to this position i'm going to blur it go to filter select your blur gaussian blur then i'm going to blur it by 20.8 something like this then apply your layer mask then you blend the top here and the side here then go back to this background then i overblow it then it should be 18 18.2 something like this so then click on this present test here then go to drop shadow to apply a shadow to it now we are going to reduce the size make it 7% then increase the opacity to 100% then you click OK something like this right so now to the next we are going to do then we are going to bring this many stars here so Go back to your background over here and import this minister's image and take it up over here then apply your layer mask then you blend the bottom here now then go to your blending mode and change it to overlay and reduce the opacity to 36 something like this so if it is too light then you can still reduce it to any of your choice like 70% may be okay so that is it we have come to the end of this tutorial thank you so much guys for watching if you like this video please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my video at any time i upload a new video and if you want any of my flyer please go to the descriptions and click on the fiber link over there then and make your order if you want to create a fiber account then you can also create a fiber account using the link provided in the descriptions then also you can create a two body account to optimize your video using the link in the description thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share